Hey guys, this is Mark with Iowa Tech 28, and today we're going to be checking out 1Password for Windows. So this is the app right here. Again, you click it, very simple, and you enter in your password. This is a test one. I don't have my real one set up. But taking a look around the app, on the left side is Favorites. We also have Logins, Wallet, Accounts, Software, Secure Notes, and Identities. Below that, we have some folders so you can organize the stuff. We can create new ones and delete them. Up in the top left, we have this button where we can switch between our vaults, which is my test and my personal one. We can lock it. We can create a new item. We'll take a look at that in a minute. We also have preferences. This is just a couple of settings. Really not a lot that you'd want to bother with. So let's take a look at a login. Amazon, for example, we have our URL to go to that page. Username, password. And we can go ahead and copy any of them. Any of them. It can auto type that. And if it's a password, we can reveal it. We can also drag and drop some attachments there. And then we have web form details. That's pretty much what it's going to sign in with. Likely the same stuff at the top. So let's take a look at creating new items. We can do a login, a wallet item, which is uh, that stuff. There's also accounts. There's lots of accounts. Software license, secure note identity, and folder. So we just go do a basic login. We'll just call this one test and I'll enter in my email address and a password. If I am creating a new password, it can generate one for me, one that will be secure. I can refine it by a whole bunch of stuff as well. We can do the URL of the website. So let's do our website and we can add notes. So I'll say our site. How about that? And we can say, okay, and it will create that. On the main view, it gives you the title, the location, the website, how secure your password is was really, really awesome, and the date it was modified. Also at the top, I can search through my things such as Dropbox, and speaking of Dropbox, this has two-factor authentication built in. So this is just like the one for iOS and Mac, where you have those things on Windows. It's so awesome, and I absolutely love it. It's my, by far my favorite feature of this. Another thing that's really cool is that it can auto log into sites for you. So you just have to download the extension for your browser, right click, save one password, and then it gives us those whole list. So we can search through ours, see our favorites, our tags. We can generate a password or a last generated password and then view all of ours. And it recognizes that I'm on Amazon website. So I just click Amazon and it automatically logs in for me. I don't even need to click sign in. So overall, this is a really great app. I highly recommend it, absolutely love it. Design-wise, isn't as good as the one for Mac, but this is by far one of your best options for password management on Windows. Also, it doesn't have the same sync as the one for iOS and OS 10. There's no iCloud, no Wi-Fi sync between those devices, just Wi-Fi sync between other Windows devices, but it does have Dropbox integration, all three do, so that's pretty much your only bet if you want to sync between all three. But again, I really do like this and highly recommend it. And if you'd like it, you can check it out with a link down in the description below. But that's going to be for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. This is Mark, and have a great day.